गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे वी विल स्टडी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट एंड फैटी एसिड लिक्विड्स आर द ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स पुअर इन ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट सॉल्युबल इन ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स बट इनसॉल्युबल इन वाटर लिक्विड्स आर कंप्लीटली इनसॉल्युबल इन वाटर एंड सॉल्युबल इन ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स these are of three types simple lipids compound lipids and derived lipids okay simple lipids are fatty acid esters of glycosyl called triglycerides and triglycerides also triglycerides are fatty substance of the lipids and fats and oils are higher alcohol such as waxes triglycerides are the major form of lipids present in human dietary in human in uh, human food uh, whatever we eat uh, as a lipid form or uh, oily form then these are known as or trans fats deep oil fried food these are called triglycerides <coughs> then compound lipids are the simple lipids which combine with proteins carbohydrate uh, then phosphates are phospholipids proteins uh, proteins are combined with fats is known as lipoproteins and combines with carbohydrate is known as glycolipids and combined with phosphorus or phosphates is known as phospholipids and then derived lipids refers to fatty acid glycerol cholesterol and other derived compounds including fat soluble vitamins hormones and bile man can uh, synthesize cholesterol in the body but some amount also comes from the diet <coughs> some fats are produced in our body and some we um, take uh, through our dietary sources kichhi ta jinsa amara body production kare au kichhi jinsa ame dietary source nu no, jaha ko triglyceride ko haje au compound lipids are aman jeta ki combinations of uh, other nutrients with lipids jemti ki uh, carbohydrates sahit to combine hale glycolipids then uh, <coughs> phosphates sahit to combine hale phospholipids and then protein sahit to hale lipoproteins to compound lipids au 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 tela derived lipids hala jo ta ki hormones and bile se thai and man some uh, some lipids are produced in our body and some we intake through our dietary sources then fatty acids can be discussed in the head saturated and unsaturated saturated at the solidify in room temperature and unsaturated liquidified in room temperature then uh, another one is short chain medium chain and uh, short chain medium chain and long chain fatty acids essential fatty acid efa and trans fatty acids four types of fatty acids are there saturated fatty acids are um, which lack double bond example palmitic acids stearic acid it has um, uh, it is a uh, very solidified in room temperature not good for our body then mono unsaturated fatty acid is mufa contain a single bond of uh, lipids in the for example palmitic oleic acids its uh, sources are olive oil canola oil groundnut oil rice bran oil it is known as mufa mufa is very good for the uh, uh, mufa is also very good unsaturated fatty acid and it contains a single bond of lipids then polyunsaturated fatty as, uh, acid is very good form of uh, Uh, lipids contain more than one double bond in their structure the double bonds can be counted as trans linoleic acid and c uh, 18 stearic acids derived have double bond between carbon 9 and 10 as well as carbon 12 and 13 hence we count as cs3 end <coughs> then short chain fatty acids are saturated fatty acids are as butter ghee coconut palm kernel palm oil banaspati it is not good for our health it is solidified at room temperature and mono unsaturated fatty acids are olive canola groundnut rice bran uh, it is also safe and polyunsaturated fatty acids are very much good for our health is a good fats groundnut rice bran oil sesame oil safflower oil then short chain fatty acids are less than 6 carbon chain length smaller than caloric acids butter contains small chain fatty acid they are also obtained during fermentation after fermentation the butters after fermentation which um, which lipids uh, uh, those are the lipids forms is known as short chains but small chain fatty acids 
and medium chain fatty acids are six to ten carbonyl chain length. They are present in butter and coconut oil. They are for recommended in liver disorder due to ease in their absorption. It is very good absorbable of uh, lipids. It is known as medium chain fatty acids. In uh, in cases of digestive disorder uh, problem, hormonal hormon hormonal imbalances problem, uh, we can digest fats easily. So in this cases, this medium chain fatty acids are very good absorb in good very absorbing capacity and they very easily absorb in our body. <clears throat> and easily digestible also. Uh, that's why medium chain fatty acids are very good for our health. And that's why it is recommended in liver disorder due to ease in the absorption. In cases of pancreatitis, liver cirrhosis, um, in this um, cases, in this uh, abdominal disorder cases, it is very good uh, as medium chain fatty acids. Then what is long chain fatty acids contain more than 12 carbon atoms, lauric acids and mystric acid known as estrogenic, by atherogenic and palmonic acid and steric acids are major fatty acids present in diet. These derivatives are equally important. Essential fatty acids are long chain fatty acids which are essential fatty acids that roll in our body. Essential uh, fatty acids are of linoleic acid and linoleic acid. Then, <clears throat> omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are part of vital body structures, perform important role in immune system, formation of cell membrane and products hormone-like compounds called equosonides. These hormones-like compounds contain by includes prostaglandins and prostaglandulins, thromavaxin and leukorytins. These compounds are potent regulators of vital body functions like blood pressure, childbirth, blood clotting, immune response, etc. Then essential fatty acids uh, are of two types, linoleic and linolenic acids. These are very good form of fatty acids and it is very essential. And this is very uh, essential for our body. <coughs> then... Trans fat acid. Trans fat acids are deep fried food or purely fried in food and contains lots of saturated fatty acids. Plant derived fats and oils contain CIS fatty acids and um, fat, trans fat acids are produced when vegetables oils are hydrogenated to make margarines, particular hydro, hydrogenated vegetable sorting, banaspatis, etc. It is very bad for our uh, health or body is trans fat acid. Trans fat, it is, uh, trans fat acids are when <clears throat> we boiled or we hit, reheated, reheated, again and again heated the oils uh, in a high temperature. Um, the high temperature, then hydrogenation is the uh, vegetable oils are hydrogen, hydrogenated and it produces margarines, partially hydrogenated vegetable sorting, bonaspatis, etc. and uh, daldas, etc. and it is not good for our health. Jitavale, Konosi, fatty foods and lipids are um, heated in bohut high temperature, atle bohut garam huye. Jitavale, gote lipids type pro substance create huye, takonde trans fat. Trans fats but trans fatty acids. How say it? Our body body um, absorb very quickly. Absorb he kiro he. Jab pholari ke amko heart attacks, um, obesity. Is sabu jinsa orda very generate hoye. Then ukori trans fat acids or hypertension etc. So trans fat acids are not good for our health. Then functions of fat, uh, digestion of fats. The enzymes in human gut which is responsible for fat digestion is lipase. Lipase is secreted by both pancreas and stomach. The uh, first uh, carbohydrate digestion from our mouth. Then protein is digested, uh, started digestion from our stomach. Then ends in uh, duodenum. Then fats also digestion starts... Uh, <coughs>
क्लास बंद रहा कि मैडम मैडम लेफ्ट को दे गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून All of you got the materials? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Why not? Okay. No, 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 ma'am. Aji kichhi ano message korte na kuch paichhe jee. Kono kabech? No. 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 नहीं पाई ना कि बोलो बोन इस पर जो मन आसमान से मन पे मिले ची बाकी हम लोग तरफ मिले नहीं नहीं मैसेज करी थी मैं पाई चुकी हूँ नहीं नहीं पाई ना ना मैडम पाई नहीं मैडम आपकी बोरा कोटिया में कैस की ये नेची वन था जी ये नेची वन पाई चुकी आगे आगे ओके मैडम हमें बारंपुर रहो चुके हैं तो पाई नहीं पड़ जाएगा इस टाइम का रिव्यू मतलब बारंपुर रे रहो चु किंतु पाई नहीं पड़ जाएगा तो मेट्रेल किच्छ भी अच्छा अच्छा मैडम मुंबई पाई नहीं हाँ सेंटर से तो कम्युनिकेट करो तो नहीं है तेरे पे समय ने किच्छ करी मैडम वो सेंटर से तो कमुने के पौरी थे लो किंतु से कोई ले पीलां को पाखा को पोस्टल से बहुत ऐसे बो आमु पाखरे भी नहीं क्या मुझे और कौन सी बात है हाँ 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 कौन तो लेसन देर लाना मैडम इज योर काउंसलर सी विल टेक योर क्लास सी इज नॉट इंटेंडेड टू टेल एनीथिंग अबाउट द मटेरियल मटेरियल विल कम थ्रू पोस्ट to your home from delhi if anybody is not received the material we will send the link soft copy kindly manage with that you will get the material very soon okay or you download the material from e can goes e can goes re material available achi download karke padu tha very soon apan mane apan material pai jibe madam ko material vichar pachal madam kon koibe he is a cause is a counselor ओके, सो लेट मैडम टेक द क्लास। ओके, थैंक यू सर। थैंक यू। यस्टरडे आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द मेजर डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑफ द कम्युनिटी हेल्थ। ओके, इन द मेजर डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑफ द कम्युनिटी हेल्थ, दे आर मेनली द फोर मेजर इंटररिलेटेड डिटरमिनेंट्स कैन बी आईडेंटिफाइड बाय द फर्स्ट वन इज द मेनली द कम्युनिटी हेल्थ डिपेंड्स ऑन द इंटरप्ले ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स फैक्टर एंड व्हिच एक्सर्ट देयर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द लाइफस्टाइल ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल आल्सो एंड सम ऑफ देम आर बियॉन्ड द कंट्रोल ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल्स व्हाइल अदर्स आर मोर एमेनेबल टू द पर्सनल मैनिपुलेशन and four major interrelated determinants can be uh, identified they are the first one is the genetics yesterday i already discussed about the genetics and second one is the health services and third one is the environmental factor also and fourth one is your personal health behavior 
these are four are the major determinants of the community health first one is your genetics second one is health services third one is the environment and the last one is your personal health behavior these four factors uh, is your major det determinants of the community health uh, last uh, last class i already discover dis discuss about the milk intolerance is come under the genetics and i already discuss about the diabetic mellitus and uh, cardiac heart disease this all are the uh, in these cases na genetic play a major role and due to the genetical uh, disease it occurs and uh, the main cause of the disease is genetic genetic play a major role and in health services also i already discuss and environment also i already discuss about that but in the personal health behavior mainly and that the personal health behavior uh, it denotes the individual choice and that individual choice that mainly related to the health issue also and the personal health behavior is the ultimate decide of the food choices okay and this uh, individual will choose whether to drink or smoke or whether to take exercise or to do yoga or be immunized and so on and mainly na the anti health effects of the personal behavior can be seen to be manifested as the anti health effect of the personal behavior like adoption of the undesirable health habits first one is the adoption of the undesirable health habits and the indirectly creation of high risk environment and third one is your rejection of the health care and non compliance these all are your personal health behavior the anti health effect of the personal behavior that can be seen to manifest as the mainly indirectly or creation of the high risk environment and the health education is directed and persuading people to act in their own best interest like uh, as indicated in the model socio economic status is a very important consideration in health whether a cause or consequence it is mainly linked with other major determinants poor mental capability may lead to the reduced progress in the education and subsequently it restrict the job opportunity also that's why not lig group that means lower income group in terms will restrict the food choices a lack of education also may affect the personal decision making skill and contribute on the use of the services and binding more to tradition and the belief also lack of education also it affect the personal decision making skill and contribute on the use of the services and binding more to tradition and belief this is the personal choice and the specific determinants of the food behavior specific determinants of the food behavior means it may be mainly it affect the availability and accessibility acceptability availability mainly the it uh, in availability it comes uh, it includes the physical level socio cultural level uh, but in the acceptability na mainly it uh, depends on the social and cultural sector and the personal also and religious also in acceptability in personal it is also divided into two types like the in personal also availability and the preference also in incomes na it mainly depend on the economics it mainly depend on the family income and the prices pattern of the expenditure and the psychological it mainly depends upon the status and the emotional needs what is availability availability means what the fundamental limitation of food choice is simply availability this is the primary limitation of the food choice is simply availability and this may uh, seen in terms of the both physical factor and the cultural factor also and the range of the food available to a human population is governed by the cultural acceptability okay and uh, that uh, climate has been one of the major determinants of the food availability uh, like uh, uh, you must have observed now that uh, there are essential rice grown areas like the south india and similar wheat grown area is the north india and seasonal variation in food availability also affect the food choices also and they, uh, this is also affect the food availability at homes thus the availability of the food to an individual is the result of the various physical factors what is uh, acceptability 
Acceptability is the mainly determinants of the food choice. Individuals in a particular culture are bound to accept certain foods. Social practices, cultural and religions play a role in the acceptability of the foods. Okay, acceptability is the determinants of the food choice. Individual in a particular culture and bound to accept certain foods. Uh, social practices, religions, play, religions and the cultural play a role in the acceptability of the food. <clears throat> And acceptability, first one is the social factor. Like food uh, has always played an important role in the social and the religious life of many societies. That means each society has its own concept of food. The type of the food varies in the social environment also. Coming together for the meals now reflect the common bond, mutual dependence, a loyalty among the members of the family and defines the roles of the various people sharing the meals. What the status of the family member? That means food distribution depends upon the status also. And it also role among the members of a family rather than on their nutritional need, food needs. And uh, mainly uh, for, uh, if only to uh, like, uh, you are ever in many parts of our country now earning male members are served fast with the best diet both in quality and quantity also like if only two eggs are available on the one egg is served to the head of the family and the vulnerable segments namely the children's and the pregnancy lady and the women's those who are having the lactating mothers and they are they are provided by the leftover food with the exception of the some sna uh, sna snack item generally uh, generally brought which are usually given to the children and the food is a medium of the social expression of the importance of individual in, in indian House, uh, housewife is forced to to the taste of the head of and influence of the religious culture. It's also influence the religious culture. Ma'am, cottage is there. Cottage is there. Cottage is there. So, acceptable. Acceptability, Mujili, acceptability. Just specific, specific determinants of the side. Can I do a head of the family? Look out to the example they kiss. Say, take it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to specific determinant of the food behavior, and mainly it affects the uh, availability. Okay, first one is availability, second one is your. Acceptability. In what is availability? Availability means it is the fundamental limitation of the food choice. It's simply availability. Fundamental limitation of your food choices is the simple availability. And this may be seen in terms of both in the physical factors or in the cultural factor also. And the range of the foods available to the human population is governed by the cultural acceptability. And the climate has been uh, one of the main uh, major determinants of the food availability. And uh, you must have the observed that there are essential rice mainly grown area is the South Indian. And similarly, wheat grown area is the North Indian. And the seasonal variation in food availability also affect the food choices. All of us, uh, us working women experience work pressure and hence do not find it convenient to go to the market frequently to buy the foods uh, through we can afford this also affect the food availability at home and thus availability of the food to any individuals is the result of various physical factor and uh, cultural uh, is a value system like uh, which mainly determines that people in the cultural regards as fit for the human Conception and what can be eaten by food. Even also, not don't mind selling the food with the non. Man, what's got it out? What's the matter? 
non vegetarian also and the vegetarian who not in uh, consume the meat and meat product will goes to certain segments of the population this is all about your accept uh, availability and second point is your acceptability in the acceptability mainly in a social fact one is the social social fact also the net disturbance ho ji voice break ho ji in availability na mainly it affect the acceptability acceptability is mainly determined of the food choices suna jao ji abe yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am Uh, in acceptability, it mainly determine it determine the a uh, food choice. Individual in a particular culture are bound to accept a certain food, and in social practices, na culture and religions play a role. In the own concept of food. and that type of the food varies with the social environment uh, coming together for the meals and they reflect the common bonds and the mutual dependency also and loyalty among the members of the family and it defines the role of various people serving the meals the status of the family member that means food distribution mainly depends upon the status and the role among the members of the family rather than on their nutritional needs or the food needs and uh, mainly as you are very aware in the many part of our country na any male members are served fast with the best diet both in quality and quantity also for instance in uh, if only two eggs are available on the uh, one egg will be served to the head of the family and the vulnerable segments uh, mainly the children or the lactating women or the pregnancy lady get the leftover foods with the exception of the some snacks item and which are usually given to the children the food is a medium of social expression of importance of individuals in an indian home also influence of the head and other adults uh, in uh, mainly in the head the head of the family either directly or indirectly influence the family dietary pattern those who are the housewife may be forced to cook the foods of the he choice and taste sometimes it reaches to the extent of addition of more chili more oily and more salt according to the taste of the head of the family and the other are forced to get into their habit or deprive this is the influence of the head and of the adults influence of the religious culture in influence of the religious cultures not the ties of the food to the religions and the religion to the food in any culture mainly it extend beyond the serving of food alone and Uh, most of us are very aware animal sacri uh, sacrifice and offering the food on the religious occasions whatever the religion may have uh, may be heaven a symbolic value also religious really believe have much to do not only with the what is eaten but also when is eaten and how much is eaten this is all about your influence of religious culture and in uh, <clears throat> Uh, some communities like uh, do not mind eating the flesh of the dead animals certain caste also eat rodent and uh, some kinds of insect uh, food likes the honey god rice ghee fruits and uh, milk are offered to the god and they said by all in the family as a special item this is all about the influence of the religious culture and the peer influence what is peer influence in the peer influence mainly this influences of the peer groups is slowly penetrating our village and the villages working as a uh, white collar workers in the factories or the industries in nearby towns are bring, are beginning to copy their on uh, uh, urban brothers in more than one way a mainly a good breakfast early in the morning and carrying a tiffin box to the place of work is slowly being substituted by a tea and coffee followed by light snacks in the canteen also poor in calories and other essential macro and
in the cultural uh, sector na mainly in cultural sector uh, it uh, mainly all that influence food behavior particularly at the family level the cultural beliefs cover the entire gamut of psychological periods in a human beings like uh, life such as during the lactation during the infancy childhood adolescence and the adulthood and pregnancy sickness and disease the concept worker food for a pregnant woman realized in many on the contrary the pregnant woman diet is restricted both quantitatively and qualitatively thus uh, mainly uh, precipitating or aggravating the various nutrition deficiencies is like the anemia is very common That's why we will take the meat during the pregnancy or during the antenatal periods. And uh, like that, eggs and jaggery and papaya. The thing that the papaya. They are forbidden for fear. They think that they will enjoy. Thank you. result in a one child sterility and hence not in out and uh, today mainly conception is encouraged because of the belief that it helps fetal movement and free maturation madam apan ko voice break ho chi clear ho ni वेरी सिंपल वन ना कौन तो कौन तो जानी चुनते हैं अपन मने विश्वनाथ सर कौन तो आ नहीं मेरे को ठीक है आउट रे मैं रिपीट कर दियो तो जानी है लड़ी व्हाट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ़ मिक्चुरेशन व्हाट डू मीन बाय मिक्चुरेशन कंजप्शन इज मेनली बनाना आर देर थॉट दैट बनाना आर थॉट टू रिजल्ट इन वन चाइल्ड स्टेरिलिटी एंड हिस दे आर नॉट अलाउड टू टेक द बनाना बट टुडे कंजप्शन इज मेनली एनकरेस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द बिलीव दैट बिलीव दैट इट इज मेनली कंजप्शन इज मेनली एनकरेस्ट and remove the poison from the body free mixtion means excess urination if our excess urination will be occur not then all the poisonous the things which is present inside our body that that the, uh, all the things will be easily cleared out from the body obviously these are the simple belief with no foundation foods during the infancy and childhood in some of the in the foods they are mainly prohibited during the infancy and the child bearing stage 
like breast milk is considered unequally by any other food and rightly so with regard to its nutritional value for up to the infant and is mainly continued as long as towards of the 3 years of the 3 years till the end of the second trimester of the consequent pregnancy and the fast milk in the fast milk you have got the cholesterol that cholesterol or the yellow liquid that oozes from the breast in the first 24 to 48 hours after the delivery na is given to the infants in some families and rejected in the other families because it is considered that equivalent to the pus and the blood they think that that yellow color cholesterol it contains some pus and blood also hence during the first 48 hours na the infant is given honey and sugar water only they are not um, provided that cholesterol and the importance of the cholesterol is uh, now well known for its content of vitamin a and some other important factors which protect the infant from the diseases also and uh, there is a need therefore to encourage the feeding of the cholesterol to the infants most of the mother they feel that they have enough breast milk to feed their children till they are completely weaned onto an adult diet there is no recognition of the special needs of a child about to be weaned or uh, and no attempt is made to cook anything separately for the child the mothers are against early supplementation advocated by the nutrition workers after the 6 month because they think that they feel that a child cannot be fed solid food or he has no teeth but between the 18 to 12 months the child starts eating the adult diet okay if the next pregnancy intervenes the child is abruptly weaned from the breast only and this leads to serious psychological trauma loss of appetite malnutrition and the illness that's a child means gap must be there in each and every child you have to maintain the gap food like the eggs meat uh, are thought to the produce the jaundice and oedema and they considered uh, unsuitable for the delicate stomach of the child citrus fruit butter milk curds are also forbidden for fear of the cold and dal for fear of the diarrhea people are think that if the um, in the during the pregnancy um, the, if, if the for the child we uh, administer the dal na, it also may cause the diarrhea but not like that the most important of all the foods needed for the growth and the development and are but we are oh, what is the benefits of all these things we don't we don't know about that but we are prohibited to supply to the children but it's not the good things food during the adolescent periods means at the menarche uh, a girl is given only the sweet foods with restriction of the salt in the diet but her diet consists of the jaggery fat and sesame oil mixed with the raw eggs to give the strength to her back milk and milk product and the uh, cold foods like the uh, greeny leafy vegetable ragi citrus fruits any god family vegetables and they think that they are supposed to cause the various illness but eating the spleen of the goats is supposed to suppress the onset of secondary sexual characteristic like the mustache mustaches in boys and the development of breast in the girls second foods like the pulp of the dead palm consumed during the rainy season and drink uh, like toddy and uh, arak are believed to increase the potency in the adolescent boy this is all about food during the adolescent the concept of hot and cold foods that means the concept is very quite uh, familiar to all of us this does not seem to related either to the seasonal availability or the spiciness of the foods but the interesting quality intrinsic quality present in the food itself uh, foods are rich in the calories proteins uh, examples are the uh, dogs and dogs egg egg chicken fish uh, roti maize milk red gram dal bengal gram dal and horse gram dal and fruit like papaya and mango and tubers like colocasia 
are included under the heat producing or the hot food all these foods are vegetables with the high moisture content like members of the citrus and the uh, melon families gourd families greeny leafy vegetables ragi porridge with the buttermilk or the gourd seems to be categorized as a whole food the local staple uh, food however considered the neutral since uh, without them na people would strip many of these concepts are uh, outdated but they are still present in the community and uh, you may the student of the community nutrition should be aware of this they think that this the cold food it, it should be avoided for the uh, during the adolescent period and this the cold food the, during the adolescent period we have to avoid that one. but this is not good things first you have to go through the nutritive value of the each and every pair every foods and uh, what is the benefits of the, whether it is required for the adolescent period or not each and every nutritious and the balanced nutrition is required during the adolescent periods there is no food which is prohibited during the adolescent period that's why while formulating the any diet plan you have to focus on the each and every macro micro and the balanced nutrition also food during the disease period and food during the illness that means uh, during the illness or during the any kind of disorder na, the general belief is that the disease can never be caused by the lack of certain foods in the diet they can be caused by the eating the wrong food or supernatural spirit hence the uh, severe dietary restriction during the illness of the fear of aggravating the disease like the skin lesions odema jaundice diarrhea what is odema odema pad phulli ji ada pani jama he ji po jo anguthi chapi dele madam dabi jaye kichhi samay lagi puni bahari pade khali pad phulli bahi gote odema na au sar ra bhi phulli ba moh bhi phulli ba pad phulli ba आउ एनीमिया रे टिके पिटिंग एडिमेंट टिके बेसी देखा जाय तो मैडम सेथि लागि म कहली एनीमिया ओडिमा मने सिंपली कोन ओडिमा मने हम कोन बुझिब सिंपली म कहि थिले ना डिस्कशन वे ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट इट दिस हम अकुमुलेशन ऑफ द इंटरस्टिशियल टिश्यू स्पेस बाय द फ्लूइड इज कॉल्ड एज द ओडिमा accumulation of the extracellular fluid in the interstitial tissue space tissue aur tissue bitre jo space thai seithi jo amaro extracellular cell ro jo extra fluid te jai jodi accumulate karibo tahale particular jagare kon hobo swelling hobo arambh hobo jodi mane karo fit rehla taku bhi ame koi pari pa odema face re bhi dekha jaye odema abdomen lower abdomen re bhi dekha jaye odema ya apan kor whole abdomen seti modhe odema dekha jaye au ke jan kor hato godo muh eti modhe odema amra dekha jaye to sabu tak in uh, different types the or the cause of the odema may be different that uh, may be due to the cardiac disorder that may be due to the what hepatic disorder or that may be due to the kidney disorder in some cases of the anemia also the symptoms of the anemia is odema also pitting odema like that jete bole amaro blood re hemoglobin ra matra ta kami jauchi sete bole bi dekhibe apana god hat muh phuli ba arambh hoi chimo to sei ta bi gote type ra odema bujhi hela ha ma खाली एमती न हो जे पादटा खाली स्वेलिंग करले हमें कहबे जे ओडेमा जदि माने कर कोन से प्रकार हार्ट रो इश्यूज अछि तो हमरो मुह भी फुलिबा आरंभ होबो एन पाद भी फुलिबा आरंभ होबो किडनी रो जदि किछि प्रॉब्लम अछि गोडो हात मुह सब हि फुलिबो बेसी फुलिबो अपन कर पाद फुलिबो सेंटी जदि लिवर रो प्रॉब्लम अछि ताले एसआईटीस ओडेमा जेमती एसआईटीस सुधे कोन होबो अपन कर लिवर रो जे सेल रो छि तार भितरे अकुमुलेशन ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा फ्लूइड सेई थ्रू मते अपन कर तळी पेटटा पूरा तळी पेटा ने टोटल एब्डोमिनल एरिया विल बी स्वेले दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द एसआईटीस बुझिए ना ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड यस यस मैम 
एनर्जी है जिम्मेदी किसी नहीं कह रहा ना कौन यस मैम यस मैम पूछिए ना ओके एंड फूड ड्यूरिंग द डिजीज कंडीशन और ड्यूरिंग द इलनेस और इन जनरल ना दे बिलीव द इस दर द डिजीज के नेवर बी कॉस्ट बाय लैक ऑफ सर्टेन फूड्स इन द डाइट that can be caused by the eating the wrong food or the supernatural spirits also uh, most of the mother withdraw all the animal protein from the diet and give only the western food protein consisting of the sago puris with or without milk during the childhood diarrhea and in protein energy malnutrition also tea with bread or roti was the standard diet for for fever There were no dietary restriction for cold and cough, worms and regular stomatitis. What is stomatitis? Angular stomatitis. Patty re jo kero bhaliya hi jaita hai, khai jaita hai side. That is angular stomatitis. During the measles and the chicken pox, formed as a special group of diseases where the diet considered are of tomato and pulp, rice with salt, water, fresh protein, and the buttermilk. If the children were too ill or uh, to ask for the food, na the mother never forced feed the children. In other words, the child was starved. The cultural concept regarding the uh, three commonly occurring deficiency are mainly the marasmus, uh, night blindness, and anemia. The very common. And while the signs and symptoms are very well known, the nutrition, the nutritional basis of the these diseases are not known. Severe dietary restriction are practiced along with the magical medical treatment also, purgative and the emetics, leading to the worsening of the disease condition and sometimes ending the fatality also. Means very serious condition. Food and combination of food. Food and combination of food means what? Uh, people they think that na uh, believe that certain foods combined which are very harmful while the others are beneficial. For us, it mainly includes uh, inadequate methods of preservation and the psychological factors are uh, responsive for these beliefs. Okay, some example of the harmful combination are cooking fish in the milk and eggs with the spinach. In uh, actual practices, now cooking fish in milk removes its fishy odor to the large extent and makes it acceptable to those who do not like the smell of non-veg. Eggs and spinach make a delightful combination. Okay, and uh, red soil, pumpkin, uh, and the brinjals are also supposed to cause joint pain and not giving to the lactic mother. In particular, Lena, some of the beneficial combination are drinking milk after eating mangoes and eating jaggery along with the ground nuts to remove the biliousness caused by the oil seeds. And most of these so-called the harmful combination do not have any scientific basis, but the fact is that it remains. Uh, they are found all over the India. and what is the economic factor mainly in the economic of the food is the very important factor to availability in the influencing the choice of the food in the family mainly purchasing power of the family is mainly dependent on the income of the family and receive and the prices of the various foods in the market also it is also been observed that in most of the lig na lower income group families Economics of the foods play a major role, and the role of the other factors like the socio-cultural and the uh, is to the minimum extent possible. And the pattern of the expenditure is in very other dimension of the economics of the foods. Uh, some families they spend uh, more on acquiring the gold, property, articles like radios, television, uh, like this, and minimum on the food. even among some uh, wealthy families also it is the quantity and the not the quality of the food that increase with the wealth so we reveal that expenditure on the special occasion like the festivals wedding for funerals is around 50 to 150% of the income what is psychological factor in the psychological factor mainly the food produces an emotional responses in all the people 
but since every individual has different experience the response will vary from one person to another person thus individual food habits are so pop most of our, most of us are very aware that food can be used to substitute for expressing our real feelings maybe of depression of the frustration food can also help relieve the boredom or loneliness or escape from the pressure of life people eat when they are very happy and also when they are depressed and sad also this gives the security and uh, students taking exam usually having had different meal patterns in take of uh, stimulant like coffee and tea increase eating can be used as a substitute for the love also and mainly now the there are mainly three basic type of reasons for the acceptance and the rejection of potential food the acceptance and the rejection of the potential food mainly is depend on the three basic types and they are the sensory affective and second one is the identity uh, um, second one is anticipated consequence and the third one is, is the irrational factors also these three are the main factors for the type of uh, these are the main cause for the acceptance and the rejection of potential food what is sensory affective factor sensory affective factor in the sensory affective factors mainly some items are rejected or accepted as food preliminary because of their sensory effects in the mouth and the odor or the appearance all these things mainly depends upon the Uh, how it act upon our mouth and its order in the appearance also and these accepted items can be called a good taste and those are the rejected rejected they are called as the distasty and good taste mainly produce a very positive impact or the positive effect like the uh, distaste produce a negative effect or the dislike by definition and this the sensory affective reaction can be involved like the acceptance of the sweet taste and the rejection of the bitter taste or acquired okay it is very interesting to note that the substance that are included under the sensory uh, affective category are almost always acceptable foods in that individuals culture and second one is second one is the anticipated consequence anticipated consequence consequently what the some substance some substance are accepted or rejected because of the anticipated consequence this consequence uh, could be the rapid effect like the nausea or the muscular cramps or the pleasant feeling of satiety also and the more delayed effect involved belief and attitude about the health value of the foods contains the vitamins on the positive side or the potential carcinogens on the negative side also and they may be social such as an expected changes in the social status as a consequence of eating a particular food this all are comes under the anticipated consequence anticipated consequence is nothing anticipated consequence means some substance are accepted or rejected because of that anticipated consequence and this consequence mainly uh, could be rapid effect like the nausea or the cramps or the pleasant feeling of the satiety what is additional factor in additional factors na some substance are accepted or rejected as food preliminary because of our knowledge and what they are or why where they come from these factors predominate more in the rejection of the foods and very less common in the acceptance a large number of items which are referred to as incorporated and are considered inedible in the culture and refused also grass sand and the wood in the category of disgust which is strongly rejected example disgusting items produce the nausea and are thought to have the unpleasant taste even 
through in most instance and they have never been tested also another factor which is very important in the study of food selection in the acquisition of the like and dislike of the food and uh, it is a very important in the study of food selection for the two reason how to select the food is very important people may avoid a food because they have been told that it will make them sick but why should they come to dis dislike its taste it would be high desirable for people from the public health point of view to like what is good for them and to dislike what is bad for them mainly three contrasting paths of developing likes and dislikes towards the specific foods are uh, one is the this this stateful stateful versus dangerous food second one is your good tasting versus beneficial item and third one is the disgusting versus the inappropriate items these are three contrasting pace of developing the like and dislike towards the towards the specific foods what is distaste versus danger distaste distaste versus danger means when the injection of food is followed by the nausea and vomiting injection means after taking of the food if that particular food on the 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 patient may be feel nauseated or the vomiting human develops a strong aversion for it even after just one negative experience taste aversion can occur after such experience as the either may be headache respiratory disorder cramps and uh, following the eating which includes induces the avoidance motivated by the danger rather than distress good taste versus the beneficial items that means exposure of the human to a certain food mainly it increases the liking because repeated exposure removes the fear of the food and the people learn that the food is safe hungry person prefer the flavor of the low calorie foods that is rapid satiety seems to be an effective way to produce a state depends on liking disgusting versus inappropriate item disgusting items are invariable animals product and inappropriate items are mostly inorganic and of the minimal nutritive value this is all about your major determinants of the community health in major determinants of the community health i already discussed about genetics health services environment and the personal health behavior in the specific determinants of food behavior i already discussed about the availability and the acceptability in the availability acceptability in the acceptability mainly social <coughs> in, in social i already discussed about the status of the family members second one is the influence of the head and other adult also and influence of the religious culture and p peer influence and in the cultural na cultural i already discussed discuss about the food for the pregnant women and food during the childhood period and during the infancy and uh, food during the adolescence the concept of hot and the cold food and the food during the illness and the this how it affect in the economics also i already uh, discussed about the economics and what is the psychological factor in the 
how uh, food produces and the emotional response in all people. But since every individual has di uh, different experience, na, the responses is also vary from one person to the other person. And those individual food habits are formed. In the uh, economics, I already discussed about the psychological and the personal also. I already discussed about the <coughs> these major determinants of the community health. And I also covered about the physical health, mental health, social health, and the spiritual health also. Uh, uh, that community nutrition and health, I already covered about the community nutrition and the health. In the concept of health, I already yesterday I already discussed about the physical health, mental health, social health, and the spiritual health. And the concept of nutrition and its relation to the health, what is community health? I already discussed all these things. Next is the theme ends the message in the nutrition and the health education. What is theme in nutrition and education? Theme in health education, message in nutrition and the health education. Theme in the nutrition education. Mainly nutrition during the pregnancy and lactation, nutrition during the infancy and the preschool child, and nutrition during the school age, adolescent, adulthood, and the old age, dietary therapy. First, I will discuss about the theme one that is the nutrition during the pregnancy and the lactation. In this topic, I will discuss about the vulnerability of the pregnancy women and weight gain during the pregnancy and what to eat during the pregnancy because this is a very vital period in this period uh, a mother womb contains the what one fetus that's why it's very vital to give the well balanced nutritional plan to the pregnancy lady and influences of the various factors on the food intake in pregnancy in common problems which affect the nutritional status during the pregnancy, monitoring the health during the pregnancy, and uh, identification of the pregnant mother's urge at risk, and vulnerability of the lactating mother. What to eat during the lactation and influence of the various factors on foods intake during the lactational periods and why breastfeeding is the best, what is the reason? Why will be recommend to the pregnancy lady to take the to take what to provide the breastfeeding to her child, helping mothers to the breastfeeding service. Their solution. And why are the pregnant women? First, I will discuss about why are mainly this pregnant women that's like that pregnancy lady are more vulnerable because pregnancy is a very important period in the lifespan of the woman. This is because in this time now, when a baby grows inside the body of the mother, now the grow to grow properly in the wombs of the mother, this unborn child that means this fetus needs a healthy and well nourished mothers the mother's tissue grow with the baby and all the nutrients needed by the unborn baby that is supplied by the mothers okay that's a pregnancy women diet is very vital pregnant women nutrition is very important what is the importance of weight gain in pregnancy because 
a mother needs to gain weight during the pregnancy because of the it nourishes her growing baby women who do not gain enough weight that means it uh, in future it causes the so many complication of the baby also a body that weight less than 2.5 kg is more likely to have both physical and mental problems that's why na it is not uh, now grow normally it may be suffer from the any kind of malnutrition or the infection then the babies of the normal weight a normal a woman should gain uh, 11 kg during the whole periods of pregnancy okay the during the whole pre period of pregnancy na a woman uh, should gain about 11 kg and the baby accounts for only part of the weight gain and the baby his uh, mainly the body must be armed by the muscles blood tissue fluids which are needed for the baby's development and if she gains less than 11 kg the baby chances for health and survival might get affected that's why throughout the pregnancy the pregnant lady increase the body weight up to 11 kg from the initially uh, before the first trimester of body weight and even mother is overweight na uh, she still tends to gain the weight for the baby also Uh, she does not try to lose the weight while she is pregnant but should wait until after the baby is born and after the breast feeding uh, and during the first three months of the pregnancy na she should expect to gain about 1 to 2 kg and that means during the first trimester of pregnancy the total body uh, weight gain uh, by the nutritional expert uh, by the pregnancy mother is 1 to 2 kg only and during the last six months na she needs to gain about 1 to 2 kg and each week if she has already gained 11 kg after 6 or 7 months of pregnancy na she should continue to gain moderately until the delivery remember baby puts on most of its weight during those last few months only and what to eat in pregnancy is very 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 important what it will be recommended to the pregnancy lady because in this period na how, how growth of the chance during the occur during the pregnancy the growth to be very steady and normal the pregnancy woman needs to eat more food than before especially na energy body building and the protective foods she also needs uh, food uh, which are good sources of iron also कहले मोर किछ गुड सोर्सेस ऑफ आयरन फॉर द इन्फंट किमा खाली अपन माने कोन तो फॉर द प्रेगनेंसी ले प्रेगनेंसी लेडी टेल मी द सम एग्जांपल ऑफ आयरन सोर्सेस व्हिच वी विल बी रेकमेंड ड्यूरिंग द प्रेगनेंसी हम अनार जोटा की पोमोग्रेनेट खाइ परिबे पालक जो बादाम जोटा से भी खाले तो मंडिया sources of iron kancha kadali mainly madam aro ji सोयाबीन मैडम हे परबो सोयाबीन
जदि नॉन वेज खाउ थिबे त तो फिश मीट ए सब भी हे परबे ना मैडम नॉन वेज भी है परिवो वेज भी है परिवो बीन्स स्वाबिन जिम तक की स्पिनच नॉन वेज रे फीस मीट ये सब भी खाई परिवे पोमोग्रेनेट वेजिटेबल फ्रूट्स नाउ नाउ गोरा जाई मैडम गोरा जाई मैडम गोरा जाई बीट्रूट हां आओ कैरेट किछि पल्सेस सीड्स एंड पल्सेस भी खाइ परबे बीरि डाली कोलत डाली मुग डाली खजरा भी हो खजरा खाइ परबो आमे किछि सोर्सेस कहु चंती ना हेलो एमे ऑडिबल टू एवरीवन यस मैम यस मैम यस मैम मैं किसमिस भी हबो किसमिस हां आमे तो किछि भी सोर्सेस समय चिंता करू चंत तो सब ग्रुप रो सोर्सेस को आमे माने इंक्लूड करबा बिकॉज़ मेनली आमर जे फूड्स कैटेगरी कैटेगराइजेशन हे छि ना एनर्जी गिविंग फूड्स बॉडी बिल्डिंग फूड्स प्रोटेक्टिव रेगुलेटरी ता सहित तो माइक्रो एंड माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट फाइबर आउ रफेस आउ वाटर ए सब तो ना गुटे गुटे वेल बैलेंस्ड मेनू प्लान ए सब जिंस त रहिबो ना ना कोन रहिबो यस मैम एते के जिंस जहा कहली एडा त मैं आगरो पढी दिले ना यस मैम एनर्जी गिविंग फूड को कोटा कार्बोहाइड्रेट फैट भातो मैम इन द पल्सेस ब्रेन बॉडी बिल्डिंग बॉडी बिल्डिंग मीट ऑन मतलब एग मिल्क एंड मिल्क रिगार्डिंग प्रोडक्ट मिनरल जिनते की प्रोटीन एंड सोयाबीन ये सब जिन सब जो प्लांट प्रोटीन ऑल टाइप ऑफ फैट ऑल टाइप ऑफ पल्सेस पल्सेस एग्जांपल ऑफ़ द प्रोटीन ओके आयरन इन द आयरन मैंने सब जगह तो मैंने कह चु कि गोटे जिनस जिन कमी थी कौन से आम जिते आईरन खाइले मुझे किसी वैल्यू ही ना कौन से प्लांट बेस्ड ये मैंने आयरन टा बेटर बॉडी को एडजस्टन करसिमुलेसन मैं प्लांट बेस मैम प्लांट बेस प्लांट बेस आयरन टा बेटर 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 मैं कोई परिवार जितने बड़े आयरन का डेफिसिटी था उसी तरह कंसल्टेंट डॉक्टर मैंने कौन कोच इन द प्लांट बेस फूड बेसिक था वो नहीं नो कौन कोच इन द मिक्स करेगी मैंने इक्वल क्वांटिटी रो प्लांट एनिमल जो मैंने एनिमल खाने थी बे प्र बट जेते बडे जेते बडे बॉडी रे रिक्वायरमेंट कमी बो सब बले हिमोग्लोबिन कमी तो बो रिक्वायरमेंट कि भी रहू तो तो सेतळ खाइबा पे तो बॉडी बो ना सेतळ निजे चॉइस ऊपर डिपेंड करे तो हम टारगेट इंजेक्शन जो रहू चंदी से इंजेक्शन भीतर कोन था छ हम जान न बट हम को इंजेक्ट करा हो छ यस सर नो यस मैम एग्जैक्टली तो हम को सब बले जदी हमें आयरन कथा चिंता करिवा ना देखि कि हिमोग्लोबिन कमी जाऊ छ हम जेते बले कंसलटेंट को जाऊ छ जहा भी सिरप वगैरह जहा भी करू छथि सेटा खाइला बले कम के आइस नै बन्द हो छ हो छ ना नै 
Whatever you are taking the iron, na, it will be eliminated from your body very easily. During the taking of C is highly required for the absorption of your iron sources. That's why in regular diet you have to take that what vitamin C rich diet. Understood what I'm saying? Yes, yes, ma'am. Vitamin C is a requirement. Ha. Apan me kono ni sunuchhe ta jo kuchh ho bhai sunai hoye chhi sir. To seta hai bote jinsa iron ko through sources pe me seta kani jinsa hard jinsa ho jhi. For the increase of iron content in our body, in your diet na you have include that. Uh, while preparing the diet, you have uh, take that iron containing vessels in your use that iron containing vessels in your kitchen setup. If you will be uh, at least if you will be take one item made from that iron containing vessels, na the level of the iron will be very easily increases in your body. Understood? Dekhi thi me. से गाँ मान एम कि लोक अच्छा गोटे लुहा कड़े कि जिन रोसे करती करती आईरन कमी रो ना रोला कि भात टे खे डाली लेबू चिपुड़े खाते पखाड़ टे खे लेबू चिपुड़े खाते अंला दिन अमला खाते कमला दिन कमला खाते प्रत्येक दिन खाद्य किसी खटा जिन रूप रखुले तो ड्यू टू दैट ओनली सहित गोटे आईरन कनेक्टिंग भेसल रोसईवास करते आईरन कनसेंट्रेसन बडी रिमोग्लोबिन लेवल टा बढ़ी जी बुझे ना तो 
तो मेन सोर्सेस ऑफ द आयरन मेनली ना एक्स्ट्रा आयरन इज हाईली नीडेड फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द फिटस एंड द प्लासेंटा एंड फॉर द इंक्रीज द आरबीसी सेल्स ऑफ द मदर ना सी शुड ईट ए वेल बैलेंस्ड डाइट and that containing a mixture of foods she does not need to buy any special or the costly food for good nutrition she can get the extra foods she needs by eating a little more if her ordinary uh, meals okay nutrition during the pregnancy nutrition during the pregnancy and the lactation vulnerability of the pregnant women weight gain in the pregnancy and what to eat during the pregnancy which factors mainly influence the food intake the food intake of the pregnancy lady na mainly it affected by the food availability and the economic status and the acceptability and psychological and personal factors also any combination of these factors might adversely affect the choice of the food and in turns the food intake of the pregnant women okay women belonging to the elig group uh, which have less choice of food due to the economic reason a women who can uh, afford to have a better diet also may have less choice of food due to a value system that is having less value towards the food compared to the other things like the gold property etc and uh, in other family like certain uh, foods like the egg banana and ginger seeds etc are being restricted during the pregnancy due to the very cultural factors in most of the indian families and social practices uh, like the women eating leftover foods both in quality and quantity also after everybody eats are still prevalent and how can we deal with the common problem during the pregnancy the very common problem during the pre pregnancy what is the main complication during the pregnancy yani banti hai bada first very good banti hai bada kon ko aaje ta ko vomiting ma kya vomiting what is vomiting and uh, during the first trimester of pregnancy na what is the very common symptoms during the first trimester of pregnancy vomiting headache yeah. the total pregnancy is mainly divided into three trimester whole pregnancy is divided into three trimester yes or no yes ma'am first three months is the first trimester of pregnancy and uh, middle from the 3 to 6 month is the second trimester of pregnancy and from 6 to 9 months is the third trimester of pregnancy okay and what is the very common symptoms during the first trimester of pregnancy kon hi se samajhe very common symptoms अरुचि हम खावा को इच्छा लगे अरुचि फास्ट फास्ट हुए सेटा गोटे मेन प्रॉब्लम तापरे बांति भी हुए अदर सिम्टम्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी कोन तो जल्दी जल्दी कोन से वेरी कॉमन सिम्टम्स आर्ट बर्न इज दे यस और नो मुंडो बुलेगा छाती पोडी बने वीकनेस लाइक वीक लगे एंड कॉन्स्टिपेशन इज आल्सो देयर constipation yes. and what is the difference between the nausea and vomiting is there any difference between the nausea and vomiting nam nausea vele banti banti lagiwa ta ki yes very good how vomiting man pura ukali banti hejwa vomiting is the jeta vomiting hei jay but nausea means banti banti lagiwa that is nausea it's very common symptoms during the first trimester of pregnancy and how to deal with it mainly during the morning sickness is very common during the early stage of pregnancy in morning sickness you have to the main common problem of morning sickness is nausea and vomiting during this period na 
eating a light meal before going to bed at night that is the glass of milk and the fruit okay and uh, avoiding the greasy food and frequent feeding with a very small quantities eat 5 to 6 meals per day and help sometimes soon after getting out of the bed na meal can something dry in the morning eating a light meal before going to bed at night and glass of milk at and fruits also this is for the management of your morning sickness and if the patient will the pregnancy lady will be complain about the heart bone na how to deal with this the heart bone complication for the heart bone you have to avoid foods known to cause the discomfort and sucking hard candy also it may be cause the heart bone use the tablets only if it is uh, a must and do not take along with the iron pills do not take tea or coffee along with any supplement sleeping with the chest and head lifted up it is also very common during the first trimester the pregnancy lady, uh, pregnancy lady, uh, lady are doing all these things frequent feeding with the small amounts and the last complication is your constipation is very common during the pregnancy for the avoidance of the constipation na first you have to drink the plenty of water take the liquid before eating anything in the morning okay before taking anything in the morning na you have take some liquids and uh, eat uh, eat uh, fruits and uh, foods uh, with the high fiber that is the unsift wheat and the flour flour and uh, reg uh, exercise regularly these all are the management of the major complication during the early stages of pregnancy and what happens if a pregnant woman becomes anemic kon ho ko jete jana anemia hai jai chi if the dietary intake is inadequate and the fetus still has the priority and the mothers can become severely anemic na uh, in the nutritional point of, of view how will be treat to that kind of patient some women feel very weak and tired when they are pregnant and they are unable to perform the daily activities also this is an early indicator of the anemia poor weight gain can also be uh, taken as uh, another indicator and that is no steady weight gain uh, being observed from this na you may conclude that they are anemic if the pregnant woman is anemic na the consequence are mainly they may have the difficulty in pregnancy and childbirth babies of anemic mothers may be born without the 3 to 6 month uh, supply of iron that a normal healthy and full term baby should have small for day to end week uh, weakest babies may be born if the if the mother is anemic na the baby may be very small and babies of the anemic mother may be born without the 3 to 6 month supply of iron that normal healthy and full term baby should have and small for dead and weaker babies may be born mother's breast milk may not be enough iron also how can iron deficiency anemia be prevented can can prevent kari pariba na mainly a pregnant woman should have the enough iron uh, to keep the herself and her baby healthy she should eat uh, foods uh, that have the plenty of iron every day and uh, include in the diet the citrus fruits like the orange or amla uh, with the meal helps the body to utilize the iron well uh, mainly uh, mention the iron which uh, and you can uh, also include some other iron rich food also and how can we tell that if a woman is anemic the fingers nails also normally look pink but uh, those who are having the problem of the uh, anemia na it looks like the white in color with the help of any uh, one or two of these indicator you can uh, diagnose that that uh, patient is having the anemia and the eyes and the lips and lower eyelids also uh, normally its color is uh, pale light pink color but it, it, uh, if that pregnancy lady is uh, affected by the anemia na, it looks like the white in color that means the lips looks white and the eyelids uh, looks like uh, white also 
and uh, the fingernails also, also looks like white in color. And what about the What is your advice related to this? This one. You don't know whether this either update is very much during the pregnancy or not. Hemoglobin iron IFA tablet data I'm not not asking about the any severe any. I'm just saying any what am I asking? My madam. I iron tablet during the pregnancy. No matter what, not thick. I am going to I iron level thick. I iron tablet Sangamitra Madam Kong Kujanti. Iron supplement and above for you. After three months. Arati ma'am. I have a tablet. I have a tablet, Madam Most. The group is of this year, Paribo, the warming of water dose in a jay tilly, how you bolo. Tarano, Marman, MTB, Kebe. Kebe Kurmi could have no day not hunting. I'll thank the hero this is a good in Sotibo. I affect high like a chillabone. So, but during the pregnancy, na, that uh, no, that uh, dewarming tablet is not advisable. It is not indicated. Before that, you can make during the when you will plan for the pregnancy, na, at that time you can take that no arm or dewarming tablet. Understood what I uh, I'm saying? I can, I can. Okay. And uh, uh, normally, jodi bhi jani enemic thau ya not thau during the pregnancy, I don't tablet is required. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and uh, that uh, mainly, na. Kitta bolay me sir iron tablet ta na during the pregnancy. Co time. After, hmm? after, after meal. After meal, which time? Uh, lunch time, ma'am. Lunch and or evening. Actually, some of the foods that we have to do with the same iron tablet, we have to do with the same iron tablet. We have to do with the That's why she should not take the iron tablet with uh, any kind of tea or uh, um, coffee also. This prevents the body from the using this uh, iron properly. Madam, more would a question, Hilla, madam. Is a field re amur dia hochi iron or calcium? We provided a good nursing. Alga alga time re kono pain kono. I mean, pakha pakha. I mean, ki akka zinger re I mean, di tablet bolli ki mama nu kuchh kono. Madam, 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 after dinner, ironically, Indian women mainly consider the milk as the food for the children, na? and there is a need to change. Change this attitude in the interest for their health during the pregnancy and lactation. Because you will take the iron tablet in the morning or during the lunch time, some of the patients are complaining about their feeling a very gastric upset. Understood, and uh, are they upset here on uh, cause a side effect also? That's why you have to take the iron tablet after dinner only. 
and during the first trimester of pregnancy during the whole term of the pregnancy na you need the extra calorie okay yes, that on that calorie you can be uh, uh, from the chapati or from the rice or from the ragi also and uh, sometimes you can use that uh, jaggery also along with that you can consume the vitamin c rich food and any leafy vegetables in the germinated pulses also you don't take the plain pulses because if you will consume the pulses na in generally na during the pregnancy what happen uh, due to the increase of the height of the uterus uh, some of the maximum patient that they are complaining about the abdominal distension or the some of the patient they are complaining about the nausea vomiting constipation heart burn every problem is arises during the pregnancy so to avoid all this complication you have to uh, thus all the pulses and legumes is very good in fact during the pregnancy but don't take that pulses and legumes in the very direct form you have to take uh, first you have to soak in 8 to 10 hours after that you have to uh, recommend the patient to for the germination for the sprouted of that uh, legumes or pulses after that you can uh, consume um, that one it's very good Uh, for the pregnancy or for the anybody else because anybody also because uh, after the sprouted na the vitamin c content will be increases and the other macro micron content level of the that pulses will be increases due to that only you have to take the uh, pulses in the sprouted form if you will be consume that in the sprouted form na very easy. it will not causes any gastric irritation or any discomfort in the abdominal it also not impact any bad effect in our gi tract okay if we will consume directly then it may be causes abdominal distension uh, distension or constipation or so many complication also bujhilam kon kahile yes yes ma'am <clears throat> next thing is that and how can we identify the pregnant women at a very weak stage how can we identify mainly women from the those who are belongs to the very poor family now who are unemployed with no lands they are maybe suffer by the some of the complication and women who are widows and they have been uh, paid by their parents and do not have the type of any type of family supports mothers who have given birth to many babies over a short period of time and women who look thin and depressed women who are ill from diseases like the tuberculosis and mothers those who are and um, women who look thin and depressed mothers who have previous babies have been very small and the and malnourished and teenagers who are the pregnancy and women with the babies they are during the first uh, their first year of life mothers who are overburdened with the works inside and the outside at the home also women who are very worried about becomes a mother particularly for the first times and all these women need the extra help this is what you uh, can do visit them often and encourage them to eat a, as a good uh, as a mixture of foods and help them to get immunized against the toxin and uh, encourage them to be very clean and tidy and why are the lactating women are very uh, prone to the vulnerable kon pai very common question tanko madam mona thai mane to chuar deho kharap hobo peto kharap hobo kahi ki eta khana seta khana restriction kar diyanti ta sethi lagi Hmm. They are partially correct. Mainly, na in the lactating women, the nutrient present in the breast milk uh, comes from the mother, 
and this puts a heavy strain on the body also in addition to recovering uh, recovering from the physiological stress caused by the pregnancy and the delivery so if enough food is not provided the lactating woman can become the malnourished and once the pregnant woman delivers a child and the lactating period starts a common practice object is to neglect the care of the mothers and once the child is born and this is due to the belief that breastfeeding does not increase uh, food needs compared to the growing fetus and <clears throat> lactating women also needs extra foods like the pregnant women for proper breastfeeding is in terms of the quality and the quantity lactating mothers needs to eat more food especially in the energy giving body building for the growth protective and they needs foods uh, which are very sources of the vitamin a calcium okay <clears throat> what influences food intake in the lactation what influences food intake in lactation mainly the suggested dietary modification are not taken care of due to the influence of various factors disturb in the uh, disturb mainly this is because na the dietary care is being neglected after the baby is born and many <coughs> mainly restricted because of the belief they believe that child's health will be affected and that food causing the diarrhea of and the multiple factors mainly influence the food intake of the woman drastically and that results in the nutritional deficit and this not turns the affect the secretion of the breast milk and uh, then the low production of the breast milk also affect the health of the baby also okay and why is the breast feeding the best one time milk comes from the breast na even before the baby is born when the baby sucked at the nipples na this caused the milk to come into the breast and continue to flow and if all the babies are to be healthy and grow they must be fed with the breast milk only because it contains all the nourishment a healthy baby needs it is the food produced by the mother specially for the baby it is also substance which mainly protect the baby from the getting running belly or other infection which makes the baby sick because when the mother breastfeed and holds her baby uh, close uh, she gives the warmth and the security as well uh, as food also this makes mothers and baby to get close and loving breastfeeding often uh, and without giving baby any other kinds of milk can prevent a woman from the getting pregnant and to be fully protected the couple should use the family planning method which do not affect the breast feeding okay and uh, what is the uh, why breast feeding is the best it's best for both for the child and for the mother also for the mother it is very cheap and it is also convenient it also helps mothers to lose the body weight Uh, put on during the delivery. It is very simple and quick. Even uh, during travel, so you can practice this breastfeeding. For the child's side, it contains extra what the baby needs, and it contains no microorganism, and it also develops a very good emotional uh, with the mothers. It's a safe, simple, and quick. Also, it protects the baby from the infection, and it also promotes the growth of the baby. That's the breastfeeding is the. very effective method and uh, what advice can be given to the mothers on successful breastfeeding breastfeeding is a natural way for the mothers to feed their baby and she must be relaxed content and well prepared to the feed her baby before baby is born when the mother is pregnant her breast uh, get bigger and she should support them with a well fitting uh, study bra made a cotton also taking care of the breast she should uh, wash the breast every day and make sure uh, she dries them well also she should rub, rub the nipples and gently to keep them soft and she should uh, also put pull the nipples out a few times okay and uh, 
if the mother does this every day na the nipple will not become sore and uh, when she is breastfeeding the baby a good time to do this uh, when she is taking her daily bath cholesterol what is cholesterol cholesterol is nothing uh, cholesterol a pregnant woman uh, contains the the first milk is called as the cholesterol this is the yellowish fluid coming from the nipples this is called the cholesterol when a baby is born a newborn baby na should uh, be uh, put to the mother's breast as soon as possible that means baby should suck on each breast for 3 to 4 minutes after delivery and the baby will be swallow some of the cholesterol and this will nourish the baby until the mature milk comes in and that cholesterol will also protect the baby from the any kind of infection cholesterol is the baby fast food that is all the newborn baby needs what are the uh, some complication to some specific problem during the lactation there are different situation uh, where mothers needs special attention to maintain her health and the, the health of the baby also and the situation are first in pregnancy you know, the woman who is in the pregnant for the first time needs the special counseling and she needs help to the breast to feel successfully and to enjoy it experienced mother health workers and family members can help, can all help sometimes na the mother may feel that she will not be able to for the breastfeed undernourished mother undernourished mother most of the mothers who are poorly nourished produce the rich uh, breast milk to feed the baby and they may produce the slightly less milk than well nourished mother but the milk will be just as nourished and nourishing and good this milk will be help to ensure that the baby develops and keeps healthy during the first few months of life extra food to be taken that means uh, during the pregnancy na uh, during the lactation one or two amlas every day every day during the seasonally uh, if off season also you can consume that uh, dried amla a local preparation recommended for the lactation such as the uh, this tea laddu jo rasi ro laddu jo mele with jogeri ro jogeri the ki jo mane preparation is very good for the lactation ओके जो मन कर लैक्टेशनल कम हो तो से मन को इटा में रेकमेंड करिबा एंड दैट ग्रीन्स प्रिपरेशन ऑन अल्टरनेटिव डे आल्सो पपाया एवरी डे यू हैव टू रेकमेंड टू द लैक्टेशनल मदर टू कंज्यूम अबाउट 150 ग्राम्स ऑफ पपाया पर डे 100 टू 130 ग्राम्स इज आल्सो इनफ एंड रागी आल्सो वेरी गुड दैट बार्ली वाटर और सागु और दैट रॉ ग्राउंड नट इज आल्सो वेरी गुड फॉर द लैक्टेशनल This is all about your what pregnancy and lactation. Lactation. Okay. 
and mothers who do not have the enough milk na too little milk is a very common reason mothers give not for not breastfeeding or stopping breastfeeding very early in fact the milk the mother's produce is usually enough for the baby during the first six months of the life she needs to be counseled that uh, she can produce the enough milk also the mother who thinks that she is not producing enough milk during the first week also needs strong encouragement to feed the baby very often frequent sucking at the breast will help to stimulate the flow of the blood it will also help the mother gain confidence and get used the breast feeding otherwise ame kichhi lactational diet ko madhye ame recommend kare dei pariba okay this is all about your pregnancy and lactational period now i will discuss about the nutrition during the infancy and the preschool age uh mainly uh feeding young children and uh, supplementary feeding for your children uh, feeding the young uh, child when uh, he or she is sick preschool is a critical period so what is the good nutrition for the preschoolers and the growth monitoring common nutritional problems in the preschools and their solution how should we feed your young children first <clears throat> breastfeeding uh, breastfeeding the babies to improve and maintain the health of the babies you would have also got ideas on how to communicate the importance of breastfeeding for the infants okay uh, what is the complimentary feeding that is a complimentary feeding for no ha no माने छस क्षीर खाला माँ क्षीर सहित जो सिक्स मंथ अनवर्ड्स बाहर अर्ध कठिन खाद्य दिजिव से कम्प्लीमेटरी फिर तरल लिक्विड डाइट सेमी सॉलिड डाइट फ्लूइड डाइट क्लियर फ्लूइड डाइट नॉर्मल लिक्विड डाइट बुझीला नॉर्मल लिक्विड नॉर्मल लिक्विड रे माने किछ कैलोरी ज्यादा आसीबो प्रोटीन भी हम इसतरे ज्यादा पाइबा फाइबर भी ज्यादा पाइबा सेटा होची नॉर्मल लिक्विड जेंते कि सूप हो किमा जूस हो किमा हमरो खीर हो दही हो ए सब जिंस एतरे कोन ज्यादा प्रोटीन्स पाइबा विटामिन्स पाइबा मिनरल्स पाइबा फाइबर्स पाइबा किंतु जो क्लियर लिक्विड ना से कैलोरी भी ज्यादा आसो बट क्लियर लिक्विड मैंने क्लियर लिक्विड मैंने क्लियर लिक्विड जो थे कि हमरो कैलोरीज कम पाइबा प्रोटीन कम पाइबा फैट कम कम पाइबा बट क्लियर लिक्विड हमें इनिशियली हमें जो पेसेंट सीवियरली गैस्ट्रिक इनटलरेन्स अच्छी जो गैस्ट्रिक कौन सी प्रकार गैस्ट्रोलोजिकल इश्यूज रही जहाँ भी खाइले वोमिट हो कि गैस्ट्रिक इरीटेसन हो समय डायरेक्टली नर्माल लिक्विड नद प्रथम विल स्टार्ट फ्रम द व्वाट क्लीयर लिक्विड क्लीयर लिक्विड मान बाली व्टर हो कि आपड़ पा हो कि आप महू पा हो ये सब हूँ बिकज ये सब जो जिन खाइबा इट विल नट क्रिएट एनी इट विल नट एक्सर्ट एनी प्रेसर इन आवर जी आई ट्राक कैसो इंटेस्टेन ट्राक दैट इज योर नर्मा दैट इज योर क्लीयर लिक्विड ओके तो से भाया आम नर्माली सफ्ट फुड नर्माल डाएट सफ्ट डाएट सेमी सलीड डाएट बुझेगा ना तो कैटेगोराइजेशन ऑफ़ द डाइट रोजी जो टेक अपन मैंने आपको बोले पौड़ी पर भी जानी पड़ी में तो बर्तन तो अजी टाइम है ही गला हमें अजी काली के विषय में हमें डिस्कशन करेगा अकाउंट था न्यूट्रिशन ड्यूरिंग द इन्फेक्शन इन द प्रीस्कूल एज विषय में डिस्कस करेगा ओके ओके थैंक थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड समस्ते टिके पढ़ा घरे है ना श्योर मैम थैंक यू